The wide cab locomotive was introduced to North America in late 1967 with Electromotor Division's FP45. This design was at the Santa Fe Railway's request for a locomotive that would look more aesthetically pleasing while leading their premier passenger trains. However, the term wide cab is a misnomer. Wide cab actually refers to the nose width. The wide cab's nose, compared to a standard cab, occupies the entire width of the frame, and the cab has two front windows instead of four. This meant better visibility for the crew, and the nose compartment was a bit more spacious. Technically, this concept traces back to the EMCEA in 1937, albeit in an Art Deco streamlined style. Anyway, this cabin nose design wasn't widely adopted by American railroads at first, many still going the route of standard cabs. Canadian National would change that in 1973 with the GP38-2W, a standard GP38-2 but with a widened nose. It was the first to use the Canadian Comfort Cab, essentially a more spacious cab interior with a reinforced nose in case of a collision. The design was made based on input from locomotive crew members. 51 of these units would be produced, and subsequent lookalikes would follow with the GP40-2W and SD40-2W. The Montreal Locomotive Works M420, also around the same time in 1973, came equipped with the Canadian Cab 2. It wouldn't be until EMD's SD60M and GE C40-8W in 1989 that we got the modern diesel locomotive design we know today. Two windows up front, a wide and slanted nose, and walkways on either side of the body. Desktop controls would be used, allowing for an even more spacious cab. CN discontinued their four-window design after the C44-9WL in 1994, leading to the SD75i and Teardrop Window-9. Since then, the modern North American road diesel locomotive hasn't changed all that much. Modern locomotives have used the same, if not very similar, car body, cab and nose design derived from the SD60M and C40-8W. EMDs tend to have a more squared off nose reminiscent of the FP45, while GEs are more angular. The wide cab is a standard design in this day and age. It's had some evolving to do to get where it is today. While standard cabs are still plentiful and Canadian cabs are still roaming the rails, wide cabs are seemingly the future. Unless a totally new design is created in the future, the two-window wide cab is what we'll be seeing for quite some time.